This is the United Nations. Ici la radio des Nations Unies. In 1946, United Nations Radio began broadcasting to a world emerging from the Second World War, from makeshift studios in the UN headquarters in Lake Success, New York. The radio station is the voice of the world body, set up to promote the universal ideals of the United Nations. When it began, UN Radio transmitted for 9 to 12 hours a day, producing news bulletins and feature programmes in the UN's then five official languages. Chinese, English, French, Russian and Spanish. But it wasn't just programmes specifically produced for radio that were broadcast. The entire proceedings of the Security Council and the United Nations Economic and Social Council were transmitted on shortwave to the rest of the world, as well as defining moments at the UN such as the acceptance speech of the first Secretary-General, Trygve Lee of Norway. Solemnly swear to exercise in all loyalty, discretion and conscience, the functions entrusted to me as Secretary General. The Here, Helena Roosevelt, the former First Lady of the United States, reads the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice and peace in the world. With no transmission facilities of its own, UN Radio used leading broadcasting organisations to relay its programmes to different regions. In the 1950s, UN Radio was reaching listeners all around the world, with news bulletins and magazine programmes in 33 languages, rebroadcast in around 100 countries and territories. Programming included documentaries and dramas featuring Hollywood stars. How do you do? This is Marlon Brando. And that man out there in the churchyard talking to the priest is Ben Hudson. He's an American hydrological expert. Now, Ben has been sent to Katoka, which is a village in the mountain regions of Bolivia, by the United Nations Technical Assistance Administration at the request of the... Key Bolivia. speeches from the world statesmen have always featured in UN radio programming. His then US president, John F. Kennedy. We meet again in the quest for peace. The voices of Chile's Salvador Allende. Fundamentalmente, luchar en los mercados internacionales por el respeto a nuestros derechos. Pope Paul VI. A la ocasión del 20 aniversario de esta institución mundial por la paz. China's Deng Xiaoping. China es el futuro. Hoy, ¿cómo se va a mantener la unidad de la China? Unidad. Russia's Mikhail Gorbachev. And the UN's Lakdar Brahimi. Uh, in tala, tala, tala By 1984, UN Radio was producing a total of 2,000 hours of programmes a year in 25 languages and serving 167 countries and territories. At the end of 1985, Shortwave broadcasts were suspended due to the sudden rise of transmission charges. UN radio production and distribution became more dependent on taped programmes. UN radio now produces content that can be downloaded directly from its website and listened to by everyone with internet access, and on smartphones via AudioNow's Call to Listen service and downloadable app. Hundreds of partner radio stations around the world broadcast UN Radio's reports and programmes, which are also available through social media platforms. Humanitarians will work hard to continue helping the most vulnerable. But we World Food Programme dispatched 62 tonnes of food to Al Asake City. The outbreak is definitely slowing down in terms of. At this time of multiple crises, the United Nations is needed more than ever. Daily news content is produced in Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Kiswahili, Portuguese, Russian and Spanish, and weekly programmes in Hindi, Urdu and Bangla. Asamblea General de la ONU adoptó este martes una nueva resolución en la que insta a poner. Bonjour à tous et à tous, Cristina Silvero pour vous présenter ce journal de la radio des Nations Unies. Kutoka New York, sauti ya umoja wa mataifa inawaletea jarida la umoja wa mataifa. Jornal da ONU em Nova York. 
говорит радио Организации Объединенных Наций. You have been listening to United Nations Radio. I'm Nikki Chadwick.